Hello guys, I'm going to my new YouTube video for today, which you can see by the title of this video. <clears throat> my honest thoughts about Mega Man X7. Yes, this is going to be a Mega Man X video. I'm a huge Mega Man fan, as you can see if you scroll down, like almost all the way to the bottom of my videos, you can see some Mega Man vids. But today I'm going to talk about my honest thoughts about Rockman X7. So here we go. First, I would like to point out that Mega Man X7 is considered the weakest title of all time by many fans because of uh, cheap boss fights and horrible 3D camera movements. And the only good thing about this game apparently to many fans is just the music. Yes, Mega Man and Mega Man X are really known for really great stage music. So, my opinion. Is Mega Man X7 bad? And in my opinion, it's not that bad as many seem to be. How? Well, I first played it when I got the Mega Man X Legacy Collection and 2 for my PS4. And I tried Mega Man X7 for the first time. It's the only title that I haven't played. So I tried it. Played it. Well, it's the same thing. Finished it. On rookie mode because, well, it's a new game. And I always get destroyed by those damn lasers come on axel anyway um in my opinion i think it's an okay game i do consider mega man x7 to be like on a weak point many hate mega man x6 but come on mega man x6 compared to mega, to mega man x7 is manageable x6 is manageable uh, x7 is really okay to me the gameplay is fun. It's like different than the normal Mega Man X games. Uh, the thing that I'm going to say about the 3D layout is that, come on, it's it's the first PS2 game. It's when 3D games were being a thing. So I'm guessing that Capcom were experimenting for the first time with their like 3D technology or something. Because it's the... Basically, from X8, it's 3D, 2D, but X7 is basically like 3D at points. So, X7 is like the only 3D-ish game from the games. And I'm guessing that Mega Man X7 is an experiment. It wasn't the final project. It was an experiment. Mega Man X7 is an experiment. Why? The 3D camera movements and the 3D models. Many say that the models look like toys, like X, Zero, uh, X, so they look like toys. But... X7 must have been like a experiment for the 3D engine for the first time for the PS2 because X7 was the first title for the PS2 and we all know that the PS2 had like the 3D graphics already. So yes, Mega Man X7 was an experiment and it was okay. To me, um, I liked the game. The plot was just like a race between Red Alert to fight the 8 Mavericks with the Maverick Hunters. I know many hated X because of his whining and being like, oh, screw this now, you know, screw the fight, I'm over, screw you guys, you know, metal finger to, like, the Mavericks and the, pretty much, like, the fight for peace, you know. But, the good thing is that we got introduced to Axel, you know, and Axel is a great character. Yes, in X7, and one of the other most hated parts of X7 is the voice acting. Red, you had to come with us. Yes, we know, Axel, you had like a childish voice in X7, but in X8 you got fixed. So, in my opinion, X7 is an okay game. Again, X7 was an experiment for the PS2. Uh, I, I like the game, okay? I know it's difficult as fudge at times, and many don't like the 3D areas, but come on. Uh, it's not really about practice, I mean... Uh, I've played 3D games before, way before X7, and, and I kind of got used to the controls and the camera movements. But yeah, I can consider why, because in some angles, you just don't know when you're going to jump or climb stuff. So, you know, you like fall to your death or get hit. And I can totally understand that because of the fans. But X7 is okay. It's an okay game. And the plot? Well, I mean, honestly, um... From X5, we got like the virus plot, right? With Zero and Sigma. X6 with the uh, gate, you know, like betrayed by the scientists. 
X8 was just basically like, uh, you know, fight Lucifer and stuff. And X7, its story is way different than the other games. I mean, from Mega Man X1 through X3, it was just X fighting Sigma again. And, and from X4 and on is when Mega Man X got an actual plot. We all know that in X4, it was about Sigma messing with the feelings of the Maverick Hunters, X and Zero. X5, Zero and Sigma. X6, Gate and the Maverick Hunters. X7, the race with Red Alert with the Maverick Hunters. And X8, Lumine. So overall, in my opinion, I give Mega Man X7 a 7 out of 10. Yes, I do consider that it's the weakest one from the games. But again, X7, Experiment. So, you know, Capcom was messing with some stuff and said like, oh, this looks kind of okay. Uh, the voice acting, I know it's terrible, but what are you going to do? I mean, many games don't have good voice acting, but lately they fixed it with X8. No more, Red, you have to come with us. And we got, better watch it, X. I might just steal your spotlight. So this game is a 7 out of 10. Uh, the first 3D Mega Man X game, so come on. Um... It's not Capcom's fault, in a way, it's more of an experiment. And how many times do I have to say this, right? X7 was an experiment for the PS2, that's why with the clunky 3D, uh, with the 3D areas of gameplay. And there you have it, those are my honest thoughts. It's an okay game, but yes, but do not like hate, hate it, but it's an okay game, you know, it's... Like I said, Mega Man X6 is more manageable, but X7 as well. But yes, it is like the weakest one from the games. But in my opinion, I liked it. You know, I'm not hating on it. I personally liked it. Uh, on YouTube, I said that like, oh, I, l I like Mega Man X7. And some people were like bashing on me. But whatever. X7 is an okay game. 7 out of 10. Alright Mega Man and Mega Man X fans, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, well good for you, but if you didn't, and you're gonna write like, oh, screw Mega Man X7 and screw you, then, you know, I can't do anything about that, you know, so, till next time guys, peace.